up, everybody? This is Brad, and I've got another trailer to look at. And this is a game that we've known about for a while, but we finally got a release date for it, and it's very soon, as you will find out. This game looks amazing. And I've never really been, like, a humongous Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, even though I really like the Turtles. I've got nothing against them. I, I, I like the Turtles. Just never, like, if you say, are you a, Tim, a TMNT fan? I'm like, eh, fan may be a strong word, but I actually really like the Turtles, you know. But this game looks great. It looks like a lot of fun. It looks like they put a lot of uh, love into this game. Anyway, this is Shredder's Revenge. Look at how fluid the sprite work is. Fluid sprite animations are amazing. Casey Jones, this was the uh, one of the two big reveals for this spe uh, specific trailer besides the release date. But yeah, yeah. I remember watching this and thinking, what are they going to do? Announce you play as Shredder? Do like a, a, a play as a boss mode? But, um... And this was the other big reveal. Six players. Ah, it's a lot of chaos happening on the screen. <laughs> it is, it, it really is like they just said, you know, those old uh, archaic games that everybody, you know, loves so much. Let's, let's take those games and just turn everything up as high as we can. And it looks great. Look at the artwork. Beautiful. And I, I appreciate this too because I actually played a TMNT Game Boy game back in the day. Okay, so the, the big reveal there. Um, no more are the Turtles the only playable characters anymore. You got a whole rainbow worth of co uh, characters and colors to choose from. And KC, I guess, is going to be the final playable character you can use you know i never expected them to make april a playable character but then again after you know nick brawl happened anything's possible splinters fun and you know then then now you got casey in there which i don't really remember casey in, in like the 90s cartoon that i watched which i don't remember a lot of anyway but i see casey pop up every now and then in some of the more recent cartoons so you know, it's nice to have him in there. And again, like, just the sprite work is so good. Everything moves and just looks so good. And even the 2D, the, the, the actual, like, drawn artwork here. And at the end of all the characters, it looks so good. You know, and I, I'm, I'm kind of sitting there laughing... You know, I said I was never really, like, a gigantic super TMNT fan. But if you could see what's over here to my right, as of right now, it is the in an arcade one-up TMNT cabinet <laughs> that I got for Christmas a few years ago. I mean, those things are fun. But, uh, yeah, it, it, this game is just straight up like they said let's bring back those old games let's turn the animation up as high as possible let's turn uh let's let's put as many characters as we can let's let as many people play at the same time as humanly possible and i can only imagine like is it going to be difficult to keep up with having six uh characters on screen like that I suppose, though, you know, if, if if four worked back when you had the smaller aspect ratio, then six should work in the, you know, with widescreen view. I mean, at least in, at least theoretically it should, but, I mean, this kind of a game is sort of like just chaotic, uh, just, you know, in its nature. So having more people on screen to uh to figure out who's doing what 
you know, it may just make it even more fun. You know, and there's uh, there's Bebop. I mean, I, 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 this is how the characters looked when I was introduced to them back in the day. And I remember Rocksteady and Bebop being sort of like goofy. You know, they're the dumb henchmen, but they are also supposed to be somewhat threatening. But then I rem- I, I'm sitting here and I just remember there was an episode of the old 90s cartoon. Uh, at least I think it was 90s cartoon. I think it was 90s. may have been 80s. But uh, where Rocksteady and Bebop were replaced with like Super Rocksteady and Mega Bebop or something like that. They were like robot versions of themselves, but they were far more dangerous. But yeah, don't really know what else to say, but I like the, the very, like the, there's each character seems to have a lot of their known personality in there. Like I like him, Mikey doing the dance and, uh, Raph is just sitting up there laughing And you know, the funny thing is, and again, look at how, look at that artwork. It looks so good. But, um, the funny thing is they've confirmed that the physical releases for this game will come with a Pizza Hut coupon for a free personal pan pizza, just like the old turtle games used to. And that's, and I, and unless I'm mistaken, it's a real coupon for a free personal pan pizza that you can go and use. I think it is. And even if it's not, at least them, if it's a fake coupon, at least them putting that in there as like a little, like, Hey, remember this? Ha ha! That was the good old days, wasn't it? Yeah, like that. I could, I could even accept that. But if it's a, if it's a legit coupon to get you a free pizza, just like you used to do back in the day, then that is just that's god tier level commitment to the idea. And I will salute the team here for going through with it. If you were actually, if they were actually able to pull that off and get a deal with Pizza Hut to give people free pizza, <laughs> but yeah, like I think this is going to be a really fun game, and I actually do like the Easter egg at the end where they reveal the uh, the uh, the launch date of, and you've got, uh, excuse me, uh, Donatello down here playing a Game Boy. That's probably also a reference to the. Turtle Remaster Collection. They're not remaster, but just the the there's a collection of turtle games coming soon. They are the the console and arcade versions of the old TMNT games that this is uh that this was inspired from. So lots of turtle games coming. And like I said, like when I was very, very young, this may have been thirty years ago. I played a TMNT game on the way to like uh to like Disney World uh for vacation. I had a Game Boy. Uh, a cousin of mine had the Game Boy Turtle game. And I played that thing. So the idea that that game is going to get a re-release on like the Switch is like I'd have never expected that. But all these games are good, you know, like you know, and who else who knows what else? Like there's a, like all this this big interest in the turtles being in games like could we see like a different direction for turtles like like could we see a more uh you know something aside of just these uh throwback arcade style games or you know cuz like the turtles were in injustice 2 and now there uh two of them are in Nick Brawl, so who knows what who knows what could happen. But anyway, what do you guys think about this trailer? Do you uh like the turtles? Do you like this game? What do you think about it? Let me know. And we will continue looking through these various video game trailers as the Summer Game Fest rolls on. And hopefully we'll get some really interesting stuff out there. 
But until I can find something else to react to, you'll have to just watch some of my other videos. So, get on that, and we'll see you later.